are they called? The, the, the shapes on the... You can just uh, yes, see the Olympic... the symbol. It's the, called the, the gitos. The gitos. It means to move. Okay. In Greek. See, I've been looking at that symbol. You can see it in, always in the bottom right-hand corner of the, the captions that are coming up, and it's sort of three arcs. I, I was wondering what it symbolises mm. and... To oh. move or I move. I think the actual translation is I move. Okay. It's, uh, and uh, the International Paralympic Committee has just recently launched their GTOS Foundation that's going to raise money to help uh, get young children involved in the, in the developing world into Paralympic sport. What is that word you're saying? GTOS? Agitos. 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 Oh, A-G-I-T-O-S? Yes. Okay. I like them anyway. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice symbol. Uh, but you couldn't really get them in, made into a pair of glasses. So we will forgive that girl for wearing Olympic glasses at a Paralympic event. All people welcome at the Paralympics. Uh, so it's the men's 200 metres, the T36. Lane one, we have Holman from... Nicaragua. Thank you. <laughs> so, are we, so are we from Hong Kong. Great to see uh, quite a few Hong Kong athletes at these games. It's not, there's not many countries I have to turn around and look at my wall chart yeah, to, right. see, to see what it is. <laughs> Nicaragua uh, was one there. But in the swimming, there's a guy who's from a country and his initials are C-O-M. And literally nobody knew where that was. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you in a minute. Have a think back at home. C-O-M. Pavlik from the Ukraine. And listen to that crowd. Ben Rushgrove of Great Britain. PB of 25-25 which is his season's best, so let's hope he gets a good run. As his next two, Graham Ballard, who we've seen be successful in these games, lane six from Great Britain, with a PB 25-12. Graham's one of my favourite competitors because he just doesn't look like an athlete. He, look, he looks like he could be your bank manager. <laughs> you just want to give him a big hug and say, oh, it's like a race of athletes and then there's a bank manager in it, but he's also really good, isn't he? He's an incredible athlete. Okay. Jim Yan from China. And outside of him is the pole, Milcharek. Right, COM is Comoros. Comoros. Which, uh, even when you've heard it, you think, I still don't know where that is. <laughs> it's an island in the, uh, I think it's in the Indian Ocean. Uh, but they've, and they've got a swimmer who did very well, and then he got disqualified. But, um, yeah. So look out for lane two. So Huawei from Hong Kong. He is actually the world record holder of 24.65, which he got in Beijing in 2008. So I'm going to feel a bit silly saying So Huawei all the so time. Huawei. Here. So Huawei. So Huawei of uh, China, uh, or Hong Kong, China, in uh, lane two. Stand up, gentlemen, please. Oh. Stand up. Something's gone wrong. They're going to have to stand them up. And then line up again immediately. In lane two, line up immediately, please. Something's wrong with person in lane two. You can see him speaking to the officials Three there. Card. Yeah, it's, it is So Huawei, the uh, Hong Kong athlete who gets a green card. So I think that's because they have to all go down at the same time. And uh, he didn't go down in time. But uh, green card's okay. Well, actually, they just seem to be unsteady before they even got into the set position. Remember that film, Green Card, with Andy McDowell, where she's trying to get a work permit to live in America and just has to pretend that she's married to Gerard Depardieu. I do, actually. That was a good film, that was. This is a completely different <laughs> form of green card, though. <laughs> again, so the, the boys will have to compose themselves, get them ready, focused again. Because it's difficult when you've you really set yourself, OK, I'm going to get in the blocks, this is the start of my final, and then someone's unsteady and you have to get back to this position again. So they'll go through the same rituals. You might see On them... Exactly like our Polish athlete, his little ritual before he starts, into the blocks. So it's the men's 200 metres, T36. So our way of Hong Kong in two to look out for the two Brits, Ben Rushgrove and Graham Ballard in five and six. And uh, the Russians got a fast time as well, Andrei Zernov. The stadium's extremely quiet. And they're and off they're the men's 200 metres. Graham Ballard was out very fast out of his blocks, taking the bend extremely fast. But the staggers getting picked up here as they come around into the home straight. Let's see. The two great British athletes are not in bad positions, but 
But on the inside, it's uh, Pavlik of the Ukraine. Pavlik of the Ukraine in the lead. Here comes So Huawei and uh, Ben Rushgrove going well. Who's going to get oh, it here? Close. It's just <laughs> at the line. I think it's uh, Roman Pavlik of the Ukraine. Then it was So Huawei and then Ben Rushgrove. That was a great race. That was a wonderful finish. We were level for so for such a long way. The two British guys were going well. The Hong Kong competitor was doing well, but that's the man that's won it from the Ukraine. <laughs> and he's happy 24-7. He's exhausted. He's going to savour the moment. Roman Pavlik, the conquering Roman. So just to let you know, 24-7, the world record is 24-65. So a great run there tonight in the London Olympic Stadium. And the home fans would have loved to have seen Ben Rushgrove or Graham Ballard, but uh, you can see Graham Ballard absolutely flew out. He almost looked like he got a false start. He was away so quickly, yes. but then the, the rest of them caught him. Ben Rushgrove just tying up a little bit there, and the Ukrainian and the, the Hong Kong athlete must have been very close. I'd like to see a photo of that, but definitely the Ukraine have got it. And uh, Ben Rushgrove must have been very close to getting his silver on the line. He did, and you can just see he does with his CP moves from side to side um, and probably does just waste a little bit of energy coming home as he gets tired. He's losing energy sort of you know, horizontally as he's going across there where his other runners in front, the Ukrainian is very balanced uh, and finishing the line, but great run. And when you say with his CP, that means with cerebral palsy. With, with cerebral palsy, sorry. With yes. cerebral palsy. Yes. Um, that, that is a, a characteristic of cerebral palsy runners that they can higher towards the end of course yeah. just like any other runner you mm. know whether you have a disability or not everyone gets tired at the end and these guys are highly trained athletes uh, but of course if you're giving